Hey guys, Money Man 300 back for some more Forza 6 videos here, and this is our second league tune, and this is the grip tune, and uh, it's the Subaru 22B, so trying to get that acceleration, get out quick, good grip, and decent turning, you know, it's an all-wheel drive car, so you're always going to get a little bit of understeer in there, but pretty good turning uh, for the most part. Uh, we're at nighttime on Le Mans Bugatti, this is not league, uh, league, I don't know why it's only open certain times, that kind of drives me crazy. Um, but when I sit down and make a video, uh, league's closed. So we're just going into regular B-class hopper, and this is probably going to be a disaster. There's all kinds of corner cutting spots on this track that people take advantage of. And this is a pretty full, just regular B-class hopper. Oh, man, I'm starting out front. I don't know if that's good or bad. I got to... <laughs> You're going to notice uh, me short shifting this. Let's see what this guy does here. All right. Sorry, not talking because I'm trying to. Oh, the carnage wasn't bad back there. I'm trying to concentrate. Ooh, got a little wide on that. That's okay, though. Good, good recovery here. A little different at night racing on this thing. Just keep our eyes on the road. Wasn't able to get on that quite as quickly as I would have liked to there. I'm awful quiet here. I gotta. Sometimes you get in that concentration mode. I don't know if I'm gonna hold this guy off behind me. He's fairly fast. So far, so good. This is where he's probably going to be able to get me here. We got three laps. I think this thing's like six laps in league. I actually had a race already, um, but my video screwed up. So, and it was from league with this car. Still staying out here. I thought he would have caught me there. I'm, maybe he doesn't have the top end I thought he did in that car. Uh, I should not. Did not need to downshift that much. And then. Dude, I made that turn look real hard. Not really putting on a clinic here, but. I'm maintaining my distance out front. I kind of suck at that turn, I'm not going to lie. Any of those doubles, it reminds me of uh, the first two turns at Laguna Seca, just in the reverse direction. Ah. I did not mean to cut that like that. He probably followed me right through it. Let's stay on the end, stay outside here. Just trying to drive my line. Got a race going on right here. Probably gonna get me this time. Uh, maybe. Yeah, pull right up the side. Good work, good work. Let's 
Let's see if he makes a mistake up here. Or I'll make a mistake. I just didn't drive. I missed a couple of turns in there and just gave him too much of an opportunity. Uh oh. Uh oh. Save it. So there's a mistake I was looking for. Got another guy kind of catching up with us, too. Gonna make it interesting here right at the end. We got a drag race here. Nice respectful racing going on though. He is all over the track with that thing. Right up on him again. Oh, a little bump in here. It's gonna outrace me to the finish line. He did. He got me. I gave up. That. See, I should have never gave up the inside line on the second part of that turn, and I let him get me on the inside. Oh my god. Third place. Not bad though. Not bad. Uh, for my first time driving that track <laughs> in this car and at night, not terrible. Could have hung in there. Probably, you know, if I would have taken one or two of those turns a little bit better, probably win that race more times uh, than I don't. But that's okay. Uh, it gives you a good example of the car. Nice grip car. Um, good acceleration. Allow you to get out front. Holds the lines nicely. Uh, and it's very stable. So uh, that is the race there. Let's hop on over and take a look. Let's see. Where, where was our... Can I see the... Oh. Well, let's take a look at our lap time. Ah, it's not, not, not anything great. Just okay, but it's good enough to get you in top threes of a, a lot of uh, a lot of races. So, anyways, let's hop on over to the garage and take a look at our build and our tune. All right, here we are over in the garage, uh, taking a look at that paint job there. That thing's pretty sweet. The Monster Energy Subaru 22B, and I hit the wrong button. You know how many times I do that? It's like I start off every video or start off every garage session with hitting that. Now we got to wait for this to go through. And then we'll go take a look at our paint, take a look at our build and tune. Um, this is a really good, just general car on shorter tracks. And also, by the way, really good in the rain. So all wheel drive cars are great in the rain, <laughs> keeps it on the track and gives you good acceleration. Uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, I've had some really good races with that car in the rain. Um, let's take a look. Let's, let's give some credit to our uh, to our paint guy who painted this one. And the only way I know how to find this is by doing this right here. Uh, keyword uh, racing and realistic and search. And then we'll have to scroll over just a few here. Would I go too far? This doesn't look like what I'm normally looking at. Oh my god. Oh wait, there's... I've, I've seen that one before. And I'm not finding it. Right. So, it's by, I'm pretty sure it's by Rambo075, and it's like XXII, or IIXX, Rambo075. If I could find it, I would, but I can't, so I won't. But anyway, so that's who that is on that paint job. Nice job, really nice paint. And let's hop over and take a look at our build and our tune. So let's start out in the conversion. And we do have a conversion to the 1.6 liter turbo rally engine. That's an acceleration monster. Um, and you notice the short shifting. You have to, you need to do that on this. You can see the your torque curve and your, your power curve here. Uh, you start to lose torque at around four grand and you start losing horsepower at around five. I try to shift at about five grand 
uh, on this car. So well before the red line, which is probably in the six six to seven thousand range, I, I believe is where the red line hits, or it might even be higher than that. Um, might be seven and a half. But anyway, you want to shift uh, way early, so I, I, you notice that in the uh, in the drive earlier. So let's hop in here. I got the two parts here: the adjustable front bumper and the adjustable race rear wing. I do not have any of the others. Everything else is stock in there. Uh, our tire compound is going to be one upgraded. We are going for grip, and I really couldn't go one more and still be able to maintain any level of performance. So we are one up there, but we have full width upgrades at 275 in the front and the 275s in the rear. Our wheels, I believe, are just one over. Yep, G the GN Plus, that's the second wheel over in the first wheel category. And then we have 19 inch wheels on the front and 19 inch wheels on the back. So we've got both of those covered. Moving on over to the drivetrain, stock clutch as always. And we got the Magic PI free upgrade street transmission. Uh, a lot of pi to go to get, to get the only thing you really get is a little bit of weight and adjustable gears by moving to this one you don't need the adjustable at least not in in this class uh, the gearing is just fine on this one so you don't want to waste that pi um, on that so we're sticking with the street transmission and we're going to have slightly upgraded sport drive line just to get a little bit of weight and the race differential so we can get our adjustable differential now we're going to have race brakes in our platform and handling race springs and dampers race front anti-roll bar, race rear anti-roll bar. I don't believe we have a, uh, a, a reinforcement roll cage here. It's stock. And I do believe we have full weight reduction. So trying to go for that acceleration, that short track, that acceleration track, that grip build. Uh, so we get all the weight out of that. And then in the performance, we don't have anything here. The only thing you can do is, uh, is go with the no restrictor plate and then remove your restrictors all together and, and we did not do that not able to do that and keep it into class b so let's hop on over and take a look at the tune uh, let me go back here let me uh let's take a look at our numbers so five seven speed decent speed really good handling at five six and good acceleration at seven eight deceiving with that acceleration so um you'll see when i do the impala build that it's actually got like 8.3, which by the way is the speed car I'm using, uh, but that video is not out there. I think these might come out about the same time, but um, the the but this has significantly more acceleration because of the all-wheel drive and because of the traction that you get. It translates to a big acceleration, even that though that only reads 7.8. So very, very balanced car uh, between speed, handling, braking, and then you get the big acceleration of the all-wheel drive. And then I didn't look at the rest of the numbers. Uh, 373 horsepower, 442 foot-pounds of torque, 20, just under 2,500 pounds with 56% of that to the front, which is pretty normal. Uh, 28 and 28 for our tires, nothing to adjust in the gearing. We had negative 2.5, negative 2.0 for our front and rear camber. No toe in the front or the rear in that default 5.0 caster angle. Uh, roll bars one and forty. We went min max on this one. Uh, this typically works well on the Subarus and on the, the Mitsubishi's, the all-wheel drive rally cars. Uh, you're able to min max these, and it generally works. Sometimes you can't quite go to forty here, and if you find yourself oversteering a little bit in the mid turn, you can drop this down to thirty or twenty-five even. Uh, I've done that before, but I almost always leave the fronts at one on these. Uh, you just really need that turning ability. Next up, we got our springs at 516 and 522 and all the way down at 401 and 41. If you're struggling to get over the bumps and the rumble strips without losing traction, you could bump this up a couple, maybe to 4.3. Um, I did notice it just a little bit, uh, but not enough that I, I wanted to make any adjustments to it. Uh, our rebound front 10.4, rear 10.4, our bump 1.8 and 1.8 for the front and rear. Uh, took all the arrow out of it. Don't need arrow in B class. Uh, just not necessary. It's just going to slow you down. Really doesn't add a whole lot of value. And our balance, 48% and 150. Pretty standard for me. Uh, 50 and get to go over to our differential here. Our front differential acceleration at 50. Deceleration 30%. The rear differential we went 65 and 8 with 75% of that to the back. Trying to make this act as much as we can as a rear wheel drive while maintaining that acceleration that we get with an all wheel drive. So there you go, a solid all wheel drive, short track car, acceleration car, rain car. Uh, it's good at a lot of different things uh, in B class, you know, leagues, multiplayer, rivals, whatever you wanna get out there and do with it. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up with that. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.